Faces Kitchen in Appalachian Adventures. I don't usually talk about preachers. I don't usually call out their name unless I have an emergency, <laughs> unless it's an emergency situation. I don't always agree with preachers, but we don't have to, do we? But I just have issues with the Joe Osteen situation. Okay, I, you know, I have issues with that. So I am going to make an exception to my own rule of not talking about preachers, not saying anything about preachers. This is an exception. So this is my opinion only. It's not anybody else's opinion. It's just my opinion only. The first of all, it's poor people that have made him rich. And let's face it, he really wouldn't be much if, uh, if it was for poor people. It's poor people that give to these ministries that make them mega churches. Rich people do not give to uh, ministries. Okay? And that goes for the Catholic Church, the Mormon Church, all these other mega, mega churches with a lot of buildings. It's poor people that make them rich. Why? Because poor people are willing to pay for hope. But there are two schools of thought with this situation. You can say, well, maybe the, uh, the church, the Lakewood Church, whatever it's called, could not accommodate 10,000 people and it has no toilets. Because, you know, all the, the whole sewer system went out. The whole sewer system is run by electricity. The electricity went out, so therefore the sewer system went out. Uh, there's so how can the church accommodate 10,000 people if it has no toilets no showers and very little food so that is one school of thought you can say well it would have been impossible for the, for the church to accommodate uh, 10,000 people with no toilet no shower and very little food the other problem is that in that particular church as in the, most churches uh, they have very expensive production equipment. Some of those cameras probably cost from 30000 to 300000 uh, per camera. Very expensive digital uh, camera equipment. Uh, not to mention all the, uh, excuse me, all the other cables and things and rods that's required to even hold up the camera. It's just a lot of equipment that's needed. And it has to be state of the art. Okay, uh, if you have 10,000 people in there, 10,000 strangers who are all wet and upset and nasty, uh, that equipment could be damaged. And, it, and now that they know, because some of those people may be criminals, now that some of those uh, people know where the uh, production equipment is, they're going to steal it. Or get somebody else to steal it. So... That's, that is one school of thought. The church had to prevent that equipment from being stolen. Now, the second school of thought is this. The Bible says, strongly recommends that we help the poor. And I know for the most part, uh, we forget the poor. We want to forget that they exist. But let's face it, everybody lives off the poor. The churches live off the poor. Because the poor people are looking for hope. Everybody lives off the poor. You know, uh, the stores live off the poor. We buy, uh, poor people buy all these stupid, cheap goods, okay? Poor people. Okay, the Bible strongly recommends that we help the poor. Yet when the poor need help, the poor was turned away. Don't come to this church. We don't want no wet, nasty, poor people in this church. Not in this pristine church. Okay, we don't want these wet, we just want the poor people's money. We don't want the poor people in this church. Yes, we do want their money. Send a check. Put it in your MasterCard. Put it on your Visa. We want your money, but we don't want you. We don't want these poor, nasty people in this pristine church messing up the bathrooms, messing up a little bit of food that we have here. We don't want these poor, nasty People uh, messing with the production, the expensive uh, production equipment. So, and I know there's going to be some damage control. They, you know, the church is going to try to have some damage control, but the damage is already done. And what I think that, since this is an international and a national ministry, the Lord 
has exposed where his heart really is in an international and a national way. The Lord has exposed where his heart really is. The Bible says, the Bible says, who can know a man's heart? So my opinion is, is that God has exposed his heart, where his heart really is. Yes, we want your money. He's telling poor people we want your money, but we don't want you. So I tend to go with the second pool of thought. The second thought is that, yes, they want the poor people's money. Yes, they want the MasterCard, the Visa, but they don't want them. They don't want no wet, nasty, poor people who've just lost everything coming to that pristine church, messing up the showers, messing up the bathroom, eating all the food. They don't want to deal with them. Don't want to deal with the poor people. Okay? That's what my school of thought is. And I, like I said, I know there's going to be some damage control, but um, it speaks for itself. We want your money, but we don't want you. Have a nice day.